today we're going to be taking a look at this floor safe. It is digital, so you can use the keypad to enter a specific code, and you can actually put two codes in. If you want a code and you want to give someone else a code, you can do that. In this video, I'm going to show you what comes in the box, demo it for you, and give you my honest opinion. The seller did send this to us in exchange for a video. However, all of the views and opinions in this video are my own. I want to emphasize how well this is packaged. They even put metal protectors, like corner pieces, around an, a really um, like thick amount of cardboard inside the cardboard. So you can slice this open with a box cutter and not even worry about damaging the actual safe. We recently did another video on a safe and I'm gonna tell you right now, this is way better so far than the one that we opened before. Not for any other reason other than it's already put together. You don't have to assemble it, it comes assembled. Like, that's amazing. In here is going to be your accessories, like your instructions. Look at the keys. Like, they're so fancy. They're really light though, they're like plastic. The first time you use this, you are going to have to insert the key. And it opens. Oh my gosh. This is amazing. Are you kidding? Okay, what do we got down here? We got some mounting hardware and a backup battery bank. You have a pocket here, you have a pocket here. You have a drawer down here. Yep. So the blue keys are for the drawer. You're going to need a total of eight AA batteries if you want to put batteries in the backup battery pack now. You don't have to do that. And four for the inside of the actual safe. Now that we have batteries in here, we're gonna push this green button. There's a green button and we can enter a code. You can actually set a second passcode, so that's really cool. Now this has a very sturdy shelf on the top. These literally just like stick into place. They just fit in there. You have a carpeted spot down there. A little carpeted drawer here. The drawer at the base. Two individual spots here. Then this is your backup access. So you put four AA batteries in here there's a little thing under here that you plug it into. And then on the off chance that this is out of batteries on the inside, you can use this to override and put your code in. There is also a light on the inside that automatically comes on when you open the door. It's not super bright, so you may wanna get one of those little magnetic ones also. If you're looking for a new safe that you don't have to put together or assemble, I would highly recommend this one. It is very well made, very sturdy. You can mount it right to the wall. Um, and it's also, when it's empty, lightweight enough to maneuver around by yourself. One thing I will mention is the drawer does not automatically lock. So technically, you could keep something in here that you know you don't need locked up or you can lock it up, but it does need to be locked every single time you open it in order to keep it locked. 